if you like to fish, I've got a really neat device that will entertain you, but will also educate you when it comes to actually seeing fish and lures underwater. This is the Go Fish Cam. It's an inline camera. It's actually a device that is amazing that you can use in line on your fishing line or even rig it up so that you can use it on a telescopic pole underwater if you want to look at stuff. So it's a neat underwater camera, but what I like about it is it weighs 3.3 ounces. So it's ideal because when you put it in line, it actually takes on the right angle. And if you need to adjust the angle, you can add a weight about a foot or two up the line and that adjusts the angle for trolling. I like to troll anywhere from about two to five miles an hour. And it seems that no matter what I use, whether it's live bait or an artificial lure that tracks like a lip bait or a lipless bait or a spinner or a spoon, it actually takes on the direction that the spoon pulls it at and records it. Now let me show you how it works. What I like about the camera before I start talking about the function is that you can manually operate it. It has a cap on the back that's sealed with rubber gaskets and you can see that I can unscrew it and it's got a really nice watertight seal and you can see that there's functions on the back. The other thing that I like about the Go Fish Cam is that not only can you adjust it manually or set it but if you look at the front where the lens is you can actually unscrew the lens because a lot of times when you're fishing it if you're jigging along the bottom the lens can get scratched. So again there's a double rubber gasket system and you can change the lenses. Not only can you change the lenses but you can also use different filters. I'll just show you here. See here how we've got a couple different filters? So if you want an effect or you're in certain water, let's say you're in very clear water or in it's very bright conditions and it's shallow, you can actually cut and put a little filter inside so you can get the best image. I prepare my Go Fish Cam by adding a snap swivel to one end and this is a high weight capacity one because when I use the Go Fish Cam I usually have it on a heavier line because I don't want to lose it in case I get a big fish or I get my line or lure stuck on the bottom. At the other end where it's recording all I do is use a split ring with a swivel and I do that because if my lure spins around I don't want it to tangle the line and get twists in the line. I want to see as clear image as possible. I also add a two to four foot length of fluorocarbon leader. Depending what fish I'm going after and how clear the water is, I use the fluorocarbon because I don't want a solid line to be picked up by the camera. If I'm fishing for toothy fish, which I do all the time, at the end of my fluorocarbon, I'll add a little bit of a wire or a titanium leader, about six to eight inches long. That way I know that the fish that grabs the lure or bait won't break off. Now let me show you the functions. What I really like about the Go Fish Cam is that it takes a small micro card and the micro card goes right in the opening where the main controls are. So you know that all the data is going to be saved on it and then it can be transferred onto your computer or any other device. What a great system to record all your information. Before we actually start using the Go Fish Cam, we need to set some parameters. And to do that, we take the cap off and we slide the switch to the left. So I'm just going to slide it to the left. You'll see that the camera turns on. That's the flashing light. Once we've done that, we're going to be pushing our button so that it's a hotspot. And we're going to make it so that it's Wi-Fi connected. So you can see that the light is flashing. That means that we have the Wi-Fi on. Now all we have to do is turn the Wi-Fi on on our phone. So we go to our cell phone. We have to download the GoFish Cam app. Once it's downloaded, you have to register. The app is up. We're going to sign in because I've already joined. If it's a first time user, you need to put your information in your email and a password to set it. And then you sign in and then you click on it and you'll see that it takes you to the actual app. Now we're ready to set up the camera and configure it. First thing you have to do is go to your Wi-Fi on your phone and then uh, make sure that it's connected to the GoFish Cam. So we're going to just swipe down. We're going to go to our settings. We're going to go to our Wi-Fi. We're going to connect it to the Go Fish Cam. And the password was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And that should connect us to the Go Fish Cam.
When you click on the Go Fish Cam, we're going to connect. Just obtaining the information. It'll say internet unavailable, but don't worry about that because we're connecting these two devices. So we're going to push OK. And it's going to connect to the Go Fish Cam. Now you can see that it says pair Go Fish Cam. So we're going to tap to connect. And it's processing. And we're connected to the Go Fish Cam. Now what we want to do is go into settings. And we can set all these different things. You can see right now we've got the Go Fish Cam logo off. We could put it on. The upside is off because we want to shoot it literally upside down. We've got set on continuous so that when we do record, it's going to continuously record. We're not setting a time period. And then there's other configurations. So once you set it up, you're literally ready to use it either to operate it using the app or to operate it by using the actual camera. We're going to go into the functions of it. So here we are. So there's my swivel. There's the camera. You can see how clear everything is. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this red button that's right here. It's the record button. So I'm going to push it and we're actually recording right now. So I'm going to do a little bit of a pan over here. It's a little bit brighter like that. And I'm going to stop recording. And let's have a look at what we've shot. So what you can see there is that the camera's still on, but we're not recording. So we've already recorded one clip. Let's go into the gallery. And uh, there's the clip that we've recorded. Let's push on the clip. And you can see that it's uploading it. And in just a moment, we're going to see a directional arrow here. That means that we can play the video. So you can be you know, anywhere on a lake, way out in the ocean. You don't have to have Wi-Fi because the two devices pair up together. So, it's ready. Now I'm going to hit play and you'll see that it's buffering and uh, we're going to see the clip that we just shot. Just takes a couple minutes depending on how long the clip is. So there's the clip that we shot. We shot the front of the boat and I tried shooting some of the shoreline here. It's a little bit brighter. And I have the option of sending this to somebody to downloading it so that I have it permanently or I can delete it or keep it for reference for later. Now that we've gone through the operation and how to set up your Go Fish Cam and even taken a clip, let's actually show you some neat stuff that we've captured over the year.
on the fair wheel how I move my hand because it's one to one when the fish takes line up. If you don't want to use your phone, once you have the settings set, you can turn the Wi-Fi off, which I'm going to turn off right now. There. Now you can see that the light is flashing, so we are recording. If we want to stop recording, we can either turn the camera off or we can hit the button. I'm just going to turn the camera off. 
there. Now if you look at the card that you get with each Go Fish Cam, you'll see that the green light indicates that it's shooting at 60 frames a second, the dark blue light at 30 frames per second, and those are both at 1080 resolution, and the light blue light at 720 and 60 frames per second. So you can actually adjust the frame rate and the resolution that you get. So the nice thing that comes with the camera is this floater device that fits nicely over the Go Fish Cam. So I can slide it like that, slide it down, and I can connect it and uh, it'll sit it on the water perfectly horizontal and you can shoot downwards. The other nice feature that the Go Fish Cam has is a light that you can turn on whether you're fishing in low light conditions during the day or even at night. By simply taking the main switch and putting it all the way to the right, it activates that light. And you can see that that light is pretty bright. It doesn't scare fish, but it's excellent to get a better picture under low light conditions. Now for the fun and entertaining and educational things that you can use the Go Fish Cam for. When I'm out on the water, I appreciate seeing that my lure is working properly. So by having the Go Fish Cam in line, whether I'm using a worm harness for a walleye, or I'm trolling with a rapala, or I'm trolling with a spinner, I can make sure that the lure has just the right action to get those fish to strike. It's also ideal as a utility. A lot of times I put the camera down when I'm at a new boat launch and I want to make sure that there's no sudden drop when I launch my boat that my wheels are going to drop off and I'll get the actual axle stuck. It's also excellent for seeing how fish behave when they chase a lure. For example, when I fish saltwater, I use a lot of live bait. And that live bait has to be swimming a certain way to get those fish to hit.
In freshwater, I love to jig for walleye and even uh, steelhead and rainbow trout. And the one thing that amazed me once I started using the Go Fish Cam was to see how fast a walleye comes in to hit a jig and then disappears. I thought that I was just touching bottom, but the Go Fish Cam revealed to me that it was a fish that came in, hit my lure, and I didn't even set the hook because I didn't know it was a fish. And then once the fish is on, you get the nice fight, whether you're lifting them up vertically or whether they're taking your line and fighting horizontally along the surface. The Go Fish Cam is an excellent tool to help you catch more fish because it helps you to see what your lure is doing, how fish behave, so it gives you a better understanding and I'll tell you what, it's so entertaining. I've shared all of the fighting footage and strikes with friends, I've posted them on social media and it's just amazing to see what happens right along your line, not just using an underwater camera that you stick over the side of the boat. I've even hooked sea turtles and seen them come up and grab my bait at like 80, 90 feet down.
Didn't mean to stay away. Thought I heard you loud and clear. Calling to me, darling, come sit by me. So I'll tell you what, whether you troll fast, slow, whether you fish from shore and you want to cast this out or you fish from a boat, it's an excellent tool that'll just make your days more enjoyable on the water.